Hey, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite parts about living in Nova Scotia, the ocean. You know, with the water and the waves and the sharks and stuff. Like the old stomping grounds of Theodore the Tugboat. Missy Teddy. Well, today we are hitting the ocean because we're going to learn a little bit about a really cool career called an ocean technologist. And we'll do this by visiting a local company called Geospectrum, who creates all sorts of state-of-the-art underwater acoustic components and systems to support maritime surveillance and exploration. In other words, we're learning how they save the whales. Let's do it. All right, so here we are outside of Geospectrum headquarters. It's a good name, isn't it? Strong name. Geospectrum. Geo Spectrum. Hey Chris, we pronounce it Geo Spectrum! Oh, I've been underselling it. <laughs> ah, come on, let's go see. Hi, I'm Chris Stoops. I'm the head of manufacturing here at Geo Spectrum. Here at Geo Spectrum, uh, we make cutting edge oceans technology for listening to sound underwater and producing sounds underwater. I got started in marine technology through submarine manufacture and then transitioned into products that then look for submarines. I've always wanted to produce things, I've always wanted to create and build, and Ocean's Technology gives a great environment to do that. You guys got a lot of really cool gadgets here, let me tell you. If you want to see some really cool ocean technology, you need to get out on the water. Can I go? Yeah, for real? Go. Let's go. Hey fellas! What's going on Chris? How you doing? I'm hey. good, how are you guys doing? Do you want to head on the sea farm? Would love to! Let's do it! Let's go! Hi, I'm Alex and I'm an acoustic technician for Geospectrum. We work on anything that either makes or listens to sound on the water. My part of that is I take the equipment out and we go on the water and test it to make sure it's good for the customers. All right, so I understand you guys are in the business of like protecting sea mammals in some way, right? Yeah. Yeah? How do we do it? We basically are going to listen to them and we use some of these tools to do that. This first thing is a profiler. So profiler. it's going to take uh, temperature, salinity, so how salted water is, and depth. How I got started is I did an undergrad degree at Dalhousie University. I then went to college at NSCC and did the Ocean Tech program there. And then they have an internship and Geospectrum hired me on after that. So that took the temperature just like that? Yeah, so like as it's going down, it's taking temperature, it's taking depth. So that's really important because we want our microphone to be at a certain depth. Okay. Yeah, so now I, we know. Can I take a guess about the uh, temperature? Go for it, what yeah, do you think? It's cold. <laughs> Believe it or not, I didn't always want to be an acoustic technician. I didn't know it was an option uh, until uh, I was much older. Okay, so now that we know the water is uh, cold and how deep it is, yeah. how do we actually like hear the mammals and all that? So that's where this guy comes in. Okay, cool. So this is a, mic a hydrophone, which is basically an underwater microphone. Can I squish it like the medical ones? Is that a, no, that's no, not. No, okay. it's pretty hard, it's pretty hard. So basically we put this over the side and yeah. based on the temperature and the depth that we just took on that other one, yeah. we know what uh, depth to put this at. So this is what we use to actually measure the sound of what the equipment we're testing. The best part I'd say is every day is different. I just love doing a variety of things and Geospectrum lets me do that. All right, so Alex had showed me a profiler and a hydrophone so far, but I also feel like I think there's like, you can listen to mammals like real time too, right? Yeah, so this is the device. This is the one right here. Yeah. All right, how does this one work then? So we have a hydrophone on the end, okay. and then in here is like a sound card, Yep. and then it's gonna stream through the cable, and yep. we can listen to it inside once it's in the water. Is that called a porpoise? Yeah. That's confusing. Hi, I'm Josh Tabor, and I'm an ocean technologist for Geospectrum. I got started as an ocean technologist by studying at Nova Scotia Community College for environmental engineering technology. And then I did a work term at Geospectrum, and I worked my way up from there. Can we put it in the water? Yeah. Let's do it. You want to deploy it? Yeah, I'm actually becoming a professional at these things. I've deployed two things already. I feel great. Okay, so now that we have the hydrophone in the water, we can use our program here and we can actually see our sound and listen to it. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. If you put the headphones on, yeah. you'll be able to hear all the sounds that are in the water right now. I'm going to listen to the water. Yeah. I could go to sleep to this. You don't fall asleep when you do this, do you? Uh, I try not to. That's important. We're talking about protecting sea mammals, all that stuff, right? Um, when do you actually use it like in practice? When's it like important? So when we're doing sea trials, um, we are putting sound in the water. Yep. So we need to make sure that all of our sound that's going out isn't going to impact any mammals. The best part is working as part of a team to achieve a goal and to see where, you know, our technology, our tech, where it gets used. Quick question. Um, can the water hear me? Yes. Hello! So, so this is you right here. That's me. 
Yeah. Men have barely even heard me. That's disrespectful. Ocean technology is important uh, for our future because uh, without the ocean, we're, we're not going to survive. We need to protect our marine mammals, and this is a big step towards that. Josh, I think I see something out there. Chris, we haven't even left the dock yet. I mean, I didn't say what I saw. I, I, no, you're right. It, it's a buoy. Uh, That's why you should definitely go to school <laughs> for this stuff. First big win, didn't get seasick. Love that for me. Second, marine mammal safety is like a really big deal for me. I actually had a shark growing up. Yeah. Now to be fair, he had whiskers. Like I don't think sharks have whiskers. Like I think he was actually a type of catfish. The pet store just like rebranded him to be a shark to make more money. Which is wild because that means I was like literally catfished, but that's not the point. His name was Gerald. Uh, and ever since he passed away, I've always been like rooting for his cousins in the ocean. And I think we got off topic. Uh, ocean technologists, if you were watching this video thinking, Hmm. Like, that could be me. NSCC offers a fantastic ocean tech program that has a 99.8% employment rate upon completion, which is basically perfect. So check it out, look into it, and be the person to find Gerald's next long lost cousin.